two days on the road getting back from Florida. Whew. I could have stayed over at Johnny's after driving all the way back from Florida because we live about, I don't know, 40 miles, 34 miles apart from each other, which is roughly driving time because um, it's country roads about 40 50 minutes an hour you know 45 to an hour from each other no big deal no big deal but I'm tired and I told him I really want to get home um, I wanted to spend more time with him but I also wanted to get home <clears throat> because I'm gonna go again out uh, next week um, next Wednesday attentively planned I'm going with my friend Suzanne to Michigan um, they're gonna do a graveyard internment service I could have that all wrong because her mother passed away a couple months ago and she's gonna be laid to rest ashes in Michigan I look like crap look at this I don't care I don't care I'm tired I don't care um, so we got back to Johnny's I'd say around four ish 430 ish I don't know for sure um, and I and I I didn't hop right in the car and come straight home we just sat around for a little bit and you know because um, I told him I just need to sit for about a half hour to an hour <sighs> just get out of the car and walk around move whatever and I gave him his first original Jamie haircut yes they gave the man my his first haircut from me oh he says he likes it hopefully he does um, because I don't mind cutting his hair. You know, I don't mind cutting somebody's hair. I don't mind cutting a friend's hair. I don't mind cutting his hair. You know, if I can save my friend or him money, I'll save the money. It's no big deal. He we talked about it. He's like, if you got your license, so you should try to get it up here in Kentucky. Oh, if I like doing hair. I don't like doing hair. That's the thing. I don't like doing hair anymore. I mean, I can know I can probably do it part-time, but... Those days of having itchy <coughs> hair all over you and in your car, and worst of all, itchy hair in your bra, those days are over, I hope. Um, but I have thought about getting my license in Kentucky. I have actually thought about it. I know the steps in the process is just, it's going to be a little bit of a headache. So, I don't know. I think I'd rather work at a retail store before I go back to doing hair personally but I don't know I'll think about it for a second at some point not now later just everybody remind me to think about it in a sec for a second later down the road you know way down the road somebody remind me somebody remind somebody to remind somebody to remind somebody to remind me <laughs> but no I had an amazing I had a great, great time. First of all, thoroughly happy that I got to see Katie and Ash. That's number one. I'm so tickled pink that I got to see Katie and Ashley. And then I got to, I got to enjoy going, secondly, I got to enjoy going on a trip with Johnny to see, you know, spend that much more time and get to know him that much more. So, um... Either way, it was nice, so. Um, <clears throat> and I'm glad to be back home to Kentucky. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed, like I said, seeing my kids. And I want to go down there again and see them. But I'm actually glad to be home again, too, because. But I'm not looking forward to unpacking this truck. As y'all can see, there's stuff in the back seat. And the truck is loaded down. I got a two day clean out. At least two days. At least a two day clean out. And at least two days worth of cleaning this truck out, at least. I only have two heavy things. That is some music books in the back seat my mom had an organ down there. The organ's still there. That organ ain't going nowhere. But she had a crap load of music books. And I can turn them into jewelry. 
that the paper beads made out of music notes sell like hotcakes for me. I mean, I can't keep that in. I can't keep jewelry, bracelets and stuff made out of that. I can't keep it when I go to a show. So I can turn them in that. But she had this thing called a lap harp. I wish I knew how to play an ornament. Okay, ornament. I wish I knew how to play an instrument. I'm tired. When I call instruments ornaments, see, it's immense. Okay. I wish I knew how to play an instrument. I don't know how. I am like musically dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. I can't follow a tune for nothing. I can't learn a note for nothing. So, I've got this lap harp thing that has these little dots where you're supposed to pick it. Uh, I think I have to order picks online because I don't think I've got the original picks for it. But I got a couple lap harps she had. And I had bought myself a ukulele last year, a couple years back, with her. And I got my ukulele. Who knows? Maybe I teach myself how to play the ukulele. Who knows? You know? There, there, there may be... A miracle might happen yet. I've got nothing else to do. Maybe I can watch some YouTube videos and learn how to play either the ukulele or the lap harp. I don't know. I think it's called a lap harp. I'm not really sure if it's even called that. Whatever it is, I have it in the back. So, um, I got that to take out. So, what I basically brought back from Florida was photo albums. And I cannot wait to put them up in the house. Photo albums of the kids from... Oh, from the time my kids were little, even some photo albums of when I was little. So the whole family history, I have it now. Oh, that's one thing I've got to get in Florida before. So I have that, and I have, my mom was famous for using the video camera back in the day. So I've got boxes of family CDs, which I'm going to put in one of those album things. So I've got CDs. I mean, everything from, I think there's even some in there, my dad preaching and stuff. So I've got it all. I'm so thrilled to have that, too. <clears throat> um, so we got that um, I noticed there's a bowling alley up here so one year we went and got bowling balls at the family bowling alley from on the husband's side, ex-husband side so I got my bowling ball because no matter what with us and him, me and him it was still a memory and you know if his, a lot of his family was alive it would not have divorced none, just him okay the, my mother-in-law was still alive. I would not have divorced my mother-in-law. I would have just divorced her son. So, um... What happened to this road while I was gone? It feels like somebody scraped it funny. Or are they scraping it to re blacktop it? I don't know. It's weird. <clears throat> but, um... I am loaded down. I'm really loaded down. <clears throat> so... And it's not like super heavy stuff. It's just, like I said, the albums, the CDs... Um, album CD, the bowling balls. Um, what else do I have in the back of this vehicle? Odds and end kitchen stuff that, you know, my daughter was throwing out. And some of it Johnny wanted, but I don't know where it all is. So I've got to kind of go through the boxes and, like, take it to him. That's fine because it doesn't matter. Um, also, um, oh, one point in time and it just got shoved to the side because of mama grandma, my mom getting sick again Katie and I were starting to do those press on nails painting them and wanting to sell them so all the supplies were purchased and bought so one of two things is going to happen one I'm going to start doing it and see if I can't sell them locally or put them online and sell them myself or I'm just going to start doing my nails and have pretty nails one or the other. Don't know. But I brought it all because it was bought and paid for and I got it. So I brought it all with me. So I might try that. I got, I told Johnny, let's hope nobody hits us from behind because it's going to be a nail polish and a glitter party if, they, if I got rear-ended. Because it's right there at the back of the truck. All this nail polish and glitter. <clears throat> the only thing I don't think I have is the UV, the gel coat um, stuff to to coat the nails after you do them for people. So, that's the only thing I don't think I have. I'm going to have to order that. But that's okay. I've got everything else. All the rhinestones, the nails, the glue kits, everything. So, we're going to hope it's all good yet. 
If not, I just wasted cargo space, that's all. But I'm just saying, I can do my nails for the rest of my life and have pretty nails. <laughs> oh my goodness. And always look at the cup, it's half full, people. Always look at it's half full. My main goal was to go to Florida and get my, um, get the albums. That was my main goal. That was it. That was the main goal. <clears throat> Next time I go to Florida, I'd like to bring back a lamp that was there and a table that I could not get in. So we'll see. I'm still entitled to anything I want at any time. But I will say it was nice that the ex and I got along great. And he met Johnny. So I, I have to say that was nice that that worked out. I mean, we're grown-ups. You know? We're over. You know, we should be able to be civil adults and because you know it's it's over you know and I'm not gonna say it won't ever hurt my thoughts but you have to move on you do have to move on you know the only way you can open your heart to somebody new is if you move on you know if I had not moved on and I had not realized it was over and moved on myself, there's no way I could have let Johnny in the door. And I'm glad I let that man in the door. Because I, I really do like that. I really, Yeah, I'm crazy about Johnny. I I, right now, he's... I'm, 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 I'm keeping him around. I'm keeping him around. And I hope he wants to hang around. So... We had an awesome time. Monday. I'm tired. I got so much I need to do, and I need to start focusing on my artwork again. I mean, I don't feel like I need it at the moment. Um, because I told y'all before in another video that I think it was an escape in the past. Um, so I really need to kind of focus on it and see exactly where I want to go with it and what direction I want to go. Um, I don't really know what I want to do in life at all. I really don't know. And you know what? I'm not going to try to plan life anymore. I'm just not going to try to plan it. I'm just going to wait and see what happens and what I get myself into and where I go with life. I just am. I mean, I have an outline, I guess, of what I kind of think I want to do. Like, <clears throat> I want to work on the art some more. I want to get some stuff in some more peddler's malls. I think I might even want to do some revamping of stuff, like flipping pro flipping stuff, like buy used stuff and, and bring it back to life or paint it or whatever. I think I might want to try that a little bit. Johnny and I talked about that a little bit. I asked him if he would help me do it if I decided to do that. And um, I think I want to get back into the face painting and stuff <clears throat> because I know how to do that. Um, and that could be some money in my pocket, you know, income coming in. So I just got to take it step by step and see what goes on. Um, I, I just don't know what I want to do, guys. I just don't know. I think I am going to keep keep the YouTube channel going somewhat. Um, if y'all can bear with me. I mean, it is my crazy life. You I can mean, just bear with me and see where it goes from here. So, but I'm glad he, Johnny let me put him in a video so y'all could see what he was like. See, see him. Y'all get to know him a little bit more. I think he's going to let me put him in the videos a little bit as time goes on. Um, nothing major. Nothing major. Because, again, y'all, this is my channel. And, um, even though Johnny's a part of my life at the moment, um, <clears throat> I, I, you know, this is the beginning of a relationship with him. And I don't want to rush anything. I just don't want to rush anything. So, because I want to let it happen naturally. So, I am almost home. My doggies are going to be so happy to see me. I hope my son's happy to see me. I look rough. I look... <sighs> I haven't brushed my hair since this morning. I don't even know where my hairbrush is right now. I washed it this morning. I took a shower before we hopped in the car. Because I always take a shower when I travel. I don't care if I took one the night before. When I have to drive long days, I wake myself up. With a shower and now a cup of coffee. <clears throat> but I am at the house so I'm gonna get to see my babies that have missed me and wondered where their mommy was 
So I will catch you guys later. I'm going to say, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. If you don't, I'm sorry. But enjoy the craziness of life because you might just laugh about it when you tell a friend. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.